Welcome to the Legacy Network, BPPALN.org, The Party Report. I'm Eusebio Holiday, Washington, D.C. The House Select Committee has released an 845-page report on the January 6th insurrection at the Capitol, saying Trump was the cause of the attack, and they're calling for him to be banned from public office. The House Committee calls for reform to the electoral college process. The Senate has approved a $2 trillion spending package to avoid a government shutdown. The package has a $858 billion stimulus for military programs, $772 billion for non-military programs, $55 billion for the Ukraine and zero dollars for child tax credit expansion that would reduce child poverty and hunger and no money for Medicaid. In 2023 marks the end of the pandemic provisions, meaning millions of people will be kicked off of health insurance programs in the spring. Humanitarian groups are preparing for freezing temperatures in Texas. Thousands of asylum seekers in Mexico are entering the U.S. after the termination of Title 42. Arizona Republican Governor Doug Ducey has reached an agreement to dismantle his makeshift border wall made of razor wire and double stack shipping containers. In Afghanistan, women are protesting in Kabul. against the Taliban's ban on women and girls attending college. Guards beat hundreds of women, turning them away from school one day after the ban. Hundreds of men refused to take exams and male teachers have resigned. Meanwhile, the USA unlawfully failed to pay foreign workers who suffer injuries from for while working for the US military in Afghanistan. In the Ukraine, Russian missiles blew up boarding schools in Israel. Palestinians living in Chalet plan to open an em embassy in Israel. In the U.S., the Senate bans TikTok on most devices, saying it poses a national security threat amidst tensions with China in New York. Congress-elect George Santos breaks his silence on his misrepresentation about parts of his campaign lying about being Jewish. <laughs> Black freedom fighter Charlene Alexander Mitchell died at age 92. Mitchell was the first black woman to run for president in 1968. She led the fight to free Angela Davis and other political prisoners. And those are today's stories. That's today's report. This is the Legacy Network, BPP. ALN.org, Party Report.